back with another one, y'all. Shout out to my subscribers, all my supporters. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get the rest of my content coming soon. Yeah, so today I want to touch on the Squeezy Boys. These are the kids that you see running around out here in the streets. They run up to your car with a squeezy and a bottle of Windex. Now, I mean, I know everybody got to make a hustle. But what sense does it make for these kids to be doing this when most modern cars out here they already have windshield wet, w washer in their cars to clean their own car windows. I haven't seen those kids out there on rainy days, man. I seen them in the rain, man, out there with the squeezy bottles and the squeezy. But see what the whole problem is. At one time it became a big problem because some of these, some of these kids are, are not home trained and they're out here doing violent things to people that if you turn them down from doing your window, they might grab something out of your car or put something on your window. So that's why you gotta be careful with them. But another thing, I say another reason why they're out there because they don't have nothing else to do. And see, this, I blame a lot of this on our government system because they need to give these kids some opportunities and things to do out here, man. Because, I mean, these kids don't have nowhere to go, nothing to do. They've closed most of the recreation centers. They don't have any, uh, anything, for, like, they got a few basketball courts here and there. But, I mean, like, when I was coming up, we had manpower and stuff like that, you know. Different things we could uh, sign up to and go to. Like arcades, recreation centers. But these today these kids don't have nothing to do, man. It's like they didn't took everything from the kids, man. So this re this is what this results to them going out on the street doing what they're doing, man. You know, trying to make a hustle any kind of way they can. But I mean, give these kids some jobs or something, man. You gotta, you, we gotta find something for these kids to do, man. Because a lot of this is, this is where all this violence is stemming from, man. Because these, the kids don't have anything to do, man. They keep running around out here, doing this, doing that, you know. But it's just, it's a, it's we living in a different time now, anyway, because. It's not like it was when I was coming up. We had so many opportunities. It wasn't funny, man. But now, these kids don't have nothing. They don't have nothing to look forward to, man. Even now, when you graduate from high school, you're not even guaranteed to get a job. You're not even guaranteed, man. Yeah, because I remember this was uh, maybe last year. This one lady said she was so, she said she was scared to death when the guys came up to a car to do her windows. She said she had her gun on the seat. I said, wow, <laughs> this don't make no sense. But I mean, I really think, like I said, I think it's ridiculous, man, because like I said, I've seen them out there in the rain, man. Why would you be out there when the rain is coming down and you running up to people's cars to ask them could they clean your windows? And I've seen some older guys out there doing it, man. I mean, most of the kids are around 15, 16, sometimes 10, 11, 12 years old. But I've seen some guys like 25, 30 years old out there. It seems like when somebody sees somebody doing something, then everybody want to be a copycat. Yeah, they want to be a copycat. 
we can't, you know, we we got to do something about this, man. We got to get something going for these kids out here, man, because these kids are running wild out here, man. They're running rapid. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to touch on that because, like I said, at one time it was a big, big problem. But it, it, like now it's, it's kind of calmed down a little bit. But at one time it was a serious problem, man. Because a lot of people was complaining about it. But I mean, to me, it don't really bother me one way or the other because a lot of times when they come up to me, I'll give them a couple of dollars, you know, just to support them for what they're out there doing. At least they're not out there doing nothing wrong. You know, a lot of times they come to me, I say, look, I say, here you go, youngin, take this. I'm supporting you. I'd rather see you doing this than out on the corner selling drugs, man. Yeah. I tell them like that, you know. I try to give them a word of advice, you know, because they could be somewhere else doing something else instead of doing, trying to do that, <laughs> you know. But uh, I hope they find something for these kids to do, man, because spring is coming in, then summer. And summer is the worst, man, because they really don't have nothing to do. They're out of school <laughs> all day long. Yeah, but it's going to be a wild, hot summer. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that and everything. I thank everybody for listening in on, on my conversation. And stay tuned. I got more coming. And I salute to y'all, and I'm out of here.